Hi there. I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today. Some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, three practical ways out of depression. Your relationship is in the dumps. Your job got lost somewhere in the midst of the pandemic, and the IRS has taken a sudden interest in you. You're depressed. You feel awful. You're tired all the time. You can't sleep. You either eat everything in sight or you throw up at the mention of food. Nothing is fun anymore. Everything hurts. You cry at the most unexpected times. You're depressed. Now, depression may have any number of triggers that tip you into that horrid emotional pit where your world turns dark and bleak. But all of these have one underlying theme. Loss. Loss of health. Loss of a child. Loss of a job. Potential loss of life to cancer, COVID, an accident, or whatever. Or the trigger could be loss of self-esteem, loss of success, loss of a cherished dream or hope. Loss has many different forms and varying degrees. All these losses are familiar sources of depression. But what is less obvious is the one source common to all of these, which is the loss of connection to your life force your essential energy, what some call your chi. That's why depression feels so awful, why the emptiness inside is so complete, so deadening. That's why people telling you things like, cheer up, things could be worse, or what's wrong with you, just get positive, don't work. Depression isn't just having a rough time. Depression is disconnection from the very things that make life worth living. Disconnection from the hope of a positive or benevolent future. Disconnection from your belief in your ability to get your wants or needs met. Disconnection from your purpose in life, from the purpose of life itself. When you're depressed, none of that seems real. You don't trust the future to be good. You may not even trust that there is a future. You don't have any confidence in your ability to make good things happen in your life. You see only sorrow and suffering all around you. And the meaning of life is reduced to struggle and sweat, as in, life's a bitch and then you die. But there is a way out. There is a way to reconnect to your life force, your chi, to lift yourself out of depression. That being said, some depressions are biochemically based and require medication. These suggestions in this podcast are not meant to replace medication or any therapeutic or medical treatment. Always consult your physician. So, how do you lift yourself out of depression? Well, there are three practical steps you can take. Number one, look to your beliefs. You attract and allow experiences into your reality, first and foremost, according to what you believe. If you believe that life is hard, then life will do its best to fulfill your belief. If you believe that one must struggle to prove one's worth, then struggle you will. If you believe that love hurts, it will. And if you believe there are no resources, no help, no support for you, then you won't see whatever resources, help, or support might be available. Look to your beliefs. Which ones are helping you? Which ones are hurting you? Do your best to eliminate hurtful beliefs and start adopting helpful ones indeed. With patience and persistence, you can do it. Secondly, look to your feelings. Be willing to feel. Depression is commonly a cover for unexpressed anger or fear. Fears, for example, that wake you up in the middle of the night that you hate to admit, even to yourself. Fears like, I'm going to die lonely, broke, and miserable. Fears like, I'll never find another job or another loved one. Allow yourself safely and appropriately, for example, in meditation or in a journal, to express all your feelings, no matter how ugly, so that they are no longer hidden away. Once you've truly felt and expressed those feelings, it's much easier to deal with them. And thirdly, look to your dreams. Do you have any? Or are you only filled with nightmares? And by dreams, I don't mean night dreams. I mean dreams, as in what you see for yourself, your loved ones, and our world. 
dreams are what pull you forward. What's pulling you forward? Anything? Dreams give you a sense of vision of the possible. Whether you believe at this point that a dream can come true is irrelevant. Dream it anyway. The power of dream is phenomenal. It will pull you towards it as long as you see it. Be that with your mental eyes in a visualization or with your heart. Depression may feel like forever, but it doesn't have to be. Look to the three ways suggested to help you lift out of depression and back into life. Thank you for listening to Up. Check out my new book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com. Or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.